I'm Sir Top and welcome back to Let's Play Bullet Heaven 2. Eh? You. Hold on. Dialogue? There we go. Lots of bushes that are all dead! Ooh, I like this background music here. <laughs> it's got some screams too. I love that bass in the back, that's something we don't get enough of, is some real deep bass. I really like the range of music in this game. I I've always loved the uh, music that Fiorana has, but uh, this just feels like it has more of a range than I, than I usually expect. Also, where is that physical release? I've been waiting for the CD. I think I might have snoozed on one of her physical albums. Um, I haven't always been kept super on top of these things, but I, I have Epic Final Fantasy 3, 4, um, I think I have Bullet Heaven 1 also. I'm not sure if I have Adventure Story. I'm not sure if there's anything else that I might be missing. I don't believe the first two games. Actually, it did. Did the first two games even have Fiorana? I, I forget. It has been so long. Man, I need to load up Newgrounds again and just play some random cool Flash stuff. Though, speak, sort of in the spirit of Newgrounds, um, itch.io released a desktop client now and it has, you can get free games just from the desktop client and, you know, download and play them like zero effort and no, um, the recommended way to install or to set up or to package itch.io games doesn't require an installer. So there's no setup, there's no 18 billion copies of DirectX you install like Steam. There's, um, you, know, you just find a free game and, you know, there's like, there's a... The client recommends some games, and you just play free games, or you know you can buy games, so you can make your own collections. But I just love that immediacy and being able to just check out cool, weird stuff that you're not really gonna find on a major commercial marketplace, at least not yet. Like a lot of the stuff on itch.io, well, a decent amount um, does come over if it's paid, and you know if it's popular enough. But a lot of stuff just never does. And it just has that, you know, real garage band indie stuff that Newgrounds does still have. But I mean, it's sort of the more modern Newgrounds, because there's a lot of stuff you can't do in Flash, or that Flash doesn't do particularly well. <laughs> Tree orgy. And, um... Like, Unity and stuff. There's a lot of stuff you can do with an installed desktop app that Flash isn't necessarily great for. There goes that thing again! There they are! There's... dry no legs. We got skeleton octopi. I don't think octopi even have skeletons. Spideys! Little spider bros. Oh, I love that particle pattern. Just a large part of the joy of bullet hell games is just all of the bullet pa uh, patterns and all the cool stuff devs do with them. I said this before, but I wish I were better at math so I could, you know, program all the pretty patterns. If I do, if I ever do a passion project, it's entirely likely it'll be a bullet hell game. It'll either be a bullet hell game focused entirely on gameplay, or it'll be an RPG almost entirely focused on story. Those those are the two things I would do. I would just... I'm super interested in the extremes, and I'm not really interested in the sort of triple A marrying them sort of thing. You know, you gotta marry the story with your crap, and you gotta have your gun shoot. I like stuff like this, and I like stuff like off, where, you know, the gameplay is fairly simple, but hey, not really the point. Oh, it's the worms!
Maybe I will do a EBF4 Let's Play after this. <laughs> I love when things die in sections. It's so cool. Uh, it's just so dramatic. I I can't remember the first time I've seen that, but um, it's just such a cool bit of dramatic flair and uh, just so satisfying. I love stuff where it's you know not necessarily significant gameplay wise, but it just makes the makes the player's actions feel so much more satisfying and significant. Like good sound design, good um, visual effects on you know on hit effects, good reload animations. That's one thing. Um, Killzone doesn't get a lot of attention, but uh, they've always had really good gun animations. Um, and Borderlands 2 has some pretty decent ones. With there's only like with procedural stuff. Well, th the way Borderlands actually works, there's a bunch of different parts of guns that are not random, and then the game randomly puts them together with a set of rules. And it's actually pretty fascinating how it, it all puts stuff together. Yes, yeah, spiders are your friends. So, meow meow. Even though legs likes them. I really love how Borderlands does its procedural stuff. If I if I were to make a procedural game, I would study a lot of Borderlands stuff. Though honestly, some of the best parts of at least Borderlands 1 was just ridiculous broken stuff. Like the double anarchy, oh my god, and the um, the Hellfire. So good. And the uh, the Defiler. Oh, the <laughs> it's funny that a game, you know, Theoretically random guns just they give so much personality and you know, they have Proper naming schemes, so everybody remembers the Malawan Hellfire even though you know Everyone had a slightly different gun um, Because it's a legendary with you know, it's a named a Named thing and you know, it has a specific range of possible effects You know like the Malawan Hellfire was a gun that um, it did good like, it did decent non-elemental style um, SM, uh, SMG damage. Like, most elemental guns in Borderlands 2, or in Borderlands in general, deal less damage than their non-elemental counterparts. Because they, they make up for it in elemental effect and damage over time. But the Hellfire doesn't deal less damage, if I recall correctly. And on top of that, every single hit... Um, does a proc, which means it adds a damage over time stack. So you just did ridiculous damage and just, ugh, it was so good. You just set everybody on fire, everybody was screaming, just wonderful. Music to my ears. Um, and then there was the double anarchy, which ridiculously terribly inaccurate gun, but it fires four shots, and all four shots deal decent SMG damage, so it's basically like it's basically like a constant shotgun, is how it works. You have to be really close, but when you are, it just tears everything apart. Ugh. I'm a little annoyed at Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 is an amazing game, highly, highly recommended. But it misses a little bit of how Borderlands 2, or Borderlands 1, kept guns relevant for a long time. Almost too long, honestly. Actually, definitely too long in some cases. But... Borderlands 2 swung it too far in the wrong direction, or in the other direction anyway, not necessarily wrong. But they've made a lot of changes to Borderlands 2, and I really think if we get a, well, when we get a Borderlands 3, I think it could be pretty freaking amazing. And the sad thing is, I, I really hoped that Destiny would be, we're not talking about Bullet Heaven at all, sorry, but... <laughs> I really hope that Destiny would be basically Borderlands, but all of that dumb crap fixed. Uh, it's, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's just, ugh. I don't really want to get into Destiny, but not what I wanted. Undead plus bullets equals dead. Flawless plan. I agree. Everyone's agreed, then. Ooh, I like that background. The rest of us will be motivated by your death. Become stronger. Thanks. Did you know this is a skeleton? 
I love Anna's innocent stupidity. Ah, who? Hold on. Okay, where were we? Skeleton octopi, right. Ugh. Now everything feels really fast, because I'm left for a minute. There's definitely a groove you have to get into to, to play these games, but it's it's not superhuman. Almost everything that looks superhuman is just the result. Training, practice, knowledge. If you want to try, if you want, wish you could do X, you just gotta look into being able to do X. You don't, you can't just look at these games and be like, I can't do that shit. That is way too commonly a reaction. And I mean, it's kind of deliberate that they look, you know, it's performative, you know, the whole, the, it's it deliberately flashy and intimidating, but uh, nothing superhuman going on here. Hell, I've been playing this crap without practice, without, you know, with huge breaks in between. Uh, playing with a freaking non-ideal Xbox 360 controller just because that's what I'm used to. Uh, I I should really stop that now that... Parker! What are you doing? What did you do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Of import over there. <clears throat> Sorry, Parker's very excited by the waste basket for some reason. Um, I figured I was talking about again. Uh, Parker, what are you doing? You're gonna knock that over. There's nothing fun in there. What are you doing? Hey, whoa! Don't claw it. Are you stuck? Cats are great. Ugh. Okay. I guess I should stop playing after this. Ah, fuck. If I'm just gonna keep having interruptions. I was hoping to finish this game tonight, though. I've been trying to just identify stuff that is stressing me out that I haven't done and just rip off the band-aid. That's, that's one thing I've heard, um, there's this thing called... Uh, it's like the two minute rule or something about two minutes and if there's a task you need to do and it'll take you two minutes or less to do just do it right now and it sounds silly and obvious but I realize there's a lot of stuff like emailing people and checking up on stuff and you know quick tidying up stuff jobs that um, I really could have done, but didn't, because, you know, I was going to put it off till later. And, um, it's really not productive, because if, if it's only going to take you two minutes, you're going to waste more time worrying about it than you actually spent doing it. What are you doing, Parker? Sorry, Parker's very interested in something near my shoes and the wastebasket, and I... There's no toys there, I don't... I don't know what he's doing. He just, he got tired of me ignoring him on the desk, so he had to find some other way to be annoying. He's already damaged something in my new curio, too. I, it's a figure that was excessively fragile, and I was sure he was going to jump on it at least once. Hopefully I have prevented him from getting up a second time. But I knew that would be a problem. But anyway, the two minute rule thing... Like, a lot of times I won't email a game dev, I'll like put it off, I'll make a draft, and it's like, writing an email like that never takes more than two minutes. I should just do it. And there's a lot of little stuff, like making a thumbnail for a video I've already uploaded, or uh, I don't know, just lots of little minor clerical stuff that I should have just done. I think the next one is the boss. Oh, good. Meow.
So let's go ahead. Let's do. Let's try Lance this time. Invincibility. Useless. 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 Yep. Where are we? Are we dead? I'd rather not see those guys again. Here comes the. Anna's just carefree about everything. I honestly don't know. Oh, right. Um, Anna's personality very well because I she's only an EBF four, and that's the one I played the least. Ah, damn it! Ah, no, Parker. We're not wasting a bomb on the first wave of a boss. It's not happening, Parker. Could you please? Okay, if you're if you're gonna sit, that's okay. We're not wasting that. Parker's a fairly large cat, so he can he can get in the way more than you'd expect. It's also very fluffy, so there's there's a lot of fluff to get in the way. Prepare to die, the end is nigh. Oh, I never noticed that before. I love ridiculous um, warning, caution, etc. things. I, I, I must have mentioned this before, but in Hidogata Hapa, there's um, it go, like there's different layers of scrolling text. It goes, Danger Warning 666. And the 666 is like constantly scrolling. It's so cool. I love these, these bullet patterns are so befitting a spider. They're like woven. Lots of different boss music in this game. Whoop! Some blue rupees. All right. Ah. Isn't the spidey cute? I wonder if there's some, like, biological, like, genetic ingrained reason humans are so freaked out by certain insects. Like, is it the leg count? Is it the... I don't know. Spiders are really cool, though. Wow. Target danger. Raining coins! Oh, hey. Hmm. I actually haven't fought this boss before tonight, so uh, this is all new from now on. I My silly practicing is all behind me. Also, this boss is like a straight up Skulltula. Though it's actually way more Skull than most Skulltulas since... Did, did Twilight Princess have proper Scully Skulltulas? I just, I just remember um, Ocarina of Time having the sort of peak Skulltula with the comic, just an actual skull pattern on them. They actually don't look really scary at all because they're just so comical. Man, how did I get hit by that one before? Ah, that's how. I see. I hope there's like a wiki somewhere that keeps track of all of the video game spiders that have less than or more than eight eyes, because there's a lot of them. Maybe it's just because it's hard to animate quite that many, and you know, people stop, at, you know, usually somewhere between four and six at least. But getting the full eight, fairly uncommon. Or at least, it's very common to see less than that. Ow. Like, Muffet has five in Undertale, which that's... unusual. 
<laughs> this one's a pro just a proper web. I like that. Oops. This is a good boss. I like these patterns. Man, I need I really need to up my game and play some more bullet healthy things. I sort of I let that, you know, worrying about um playing good with Hiddo got a happen. I just worried so much about playing properly. I didn't I never ended up really making too many videos. But that was also actually never mind. I couldn't have shown those because I did not have a capture card at that point. And the game for a while they did add like a thing that lets you upload to YouTube, but it's like really bad and it's only after the fact. But now it's on PC, though the PC versions aren't quite perfect. At least not the ones on Steam. I'm not sure if the original release would have been in Japanese. I'm not sure if that has perfect performance. I love Rock and Android, but their um, their Gundamonium One release is not exactly perfect, which is unfortunate. Go away, mouse. I'm not sure if the mouse even shows up in these, but I hope I hope not, since it's been there like the entire time. Just to try and, just so you know, I wasn't scared at all. I love spiders. Spiders catch burglars! What what kind of spiders do you have? I would like dead <laughs> Graveyard clear. Isn't he cute in the little eye socket there? Time for something completely different. Okay, actually no. Because that's for another episode!